And we welcome you back. Was it a worthy use of the Senate's time, or should we call it Rand standing, like the National Journal did during his talk fest? Not technically a filibuster, Rand Paul, asking folks to support him by texting the word filibuster to a certain number on their cell phones. One could make the argument that this was perhaps less about the Senate and the Patriot Act and more about Rand's political future. And joining us now to go in depth on the issue is J.D. Hayworth, host of Newsmax Prime. Good to have you on here. It is great to be back with you guys. Thanks very much. All right, so what do you think about uh, Rand's talkathon yesterday on the floor? Well, the Senate lo rules such as they are allow it because you don't have to be germane to the topic at hand. Now, it's worth noting, and we don't want to get way down in the weeds on this, but the reason why technically this was not a filibuster is because the Patriot Act was not being debated. This was uh, part of the preliminary action on the trade bill, which is a bad deal on a whole nother front. But the rules of the Senate are these. You can stand up, seek recognition, and if you are granted recognition, you can control the floor as long as you stand on your feet. You may defer to other colleagues for questions. Other colleagues may let you rest your voice. That was the case yesterday for Rand. And while he is running for president, it is worth noting one of his competitors for the nomination, Ted yep. Cruz, Fair also point. backs what he has done. So to say that, gee, it was it was grandstanding for president, I, I, I don't buy it. I don't agree with every jot and tittle of what Rand is saying here, but he is utilizing the rules of the Senate as a duly elected and sworn in United States senator. And will it be effective? Well, it certainly raises the argument. And indeed, when we saw the, the treasure trove of all the bin Laden information released mm -hmm. yesterday, my question last night on Newsmax Prime to some of the guys in the know was, hey, all the bin Laden stuff coming out now as we're having the debate about intelligence and about mm -hmm. the Patriot Act, I was assured that was not the case. But uh, it is it is part and parcel of what happens. Sometimes you go to the floor to raise an issue. And that was what was very important in the mind of Rand Paul and certainly his trademark uh, kind of fusion of libertarianism and republicanism is based on trying to repeal the Patriot Act. Now, he stopped his rant before midnight last night, which, again, we don't want to get too much into the rules, but that would have actually delayed other issues that the Senate has to take care of today if he would have gone that far. And it's unfortunate, but the Senate has cleared the way now for this TPP yeah. bill. As Dick Morris told us, this thing has serious problems in terms of uh, ending up almost like a, a European Union type thing with the free migration of labor, i.e. illegals, tearing us under our existing immigration law, it's a bad deal on another subject, but I know you want to talk more about Rand, so I will, I'll restrict my Well, actually, <laughs> we'll, we'll let Rand be. We, we've, uh, Ford and I did a, we talked about it a lot in the last hour about you know what he was doing on Twitter and how Ford's word was trolling uh, folks through the filibuster online, but we can leave that there for uh, a discussion off air, J.D. But I also want to talk about uh, the conversation you're going to have tonight. Speaking of that treasure trove of information, Osama bin Laden's bookshelf, special guest tonight on Newsmax Prime. Uh, imagine you're an author and your book shows up on Osama bin Laden's bookshelf. Michael Scheuer uh, put out a book a few years ago. I believe the name was Imperial Hubris. Had some um, some kind comments, I guess, under the guise of, a, uh, of an intelligence evaluation mm -hmm. Of Osama bin Laden, but not knowing the context, and I, I don't know just how fluent bin Laden was in English. He might have thought it was something for his uh, newspaper clipping file or something. But so a lot we'll have of these Shoyer countries, on. I mean, a lot of them learn English. And well, certainly, yeah. and, and there's a photo. We'll have to find it somewhere. In this day and age of being able to search things up. Oh, oh, uh, Osama bin Laden and his family. And As Western a kid, clothes. he was he was like 17. They're in New York City. Right. He's mm -hmm. leaning. Mm -hmm. uh, I know exactly so long which one you're that, talking that, about. That, that that Lincoln Continental. He's mm -hmm. leaning up against it because his dad, of course, uh, was a very wealthy contractor in Saudi Arabia, and uh, certainly not the guy he became. And thankfully, in my opinion, a guy who is no longer on the scene. But we'll talk to Michael Schroyer about his book and about bin Laden. Also, former CIA director. Director uh, Ambassador Jim Woolsey will be with us. That's Newsmax Prime tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, here on Newsmax TV. We will be watching, J.D. Well, Or to come here on Newsmax now.